Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and today I have an update for you and it has been quite a long time since the last one so what has been going on? Well, lots of behind the scenes stuff and um, that will be the car designer calculations which are not really easy to show but here we go. So, what will be in the next update? Um, well, it is marriage and not to a woman but to a car and not between a man and a car but between an engine and a car and this looks as follows um, I go in and make a new model of the car you have already been designing platforms and please ignore the somewhat arbitrarily placed tires and uh, the very nice distance between the axes. <clears throat> All right, so you have your wonderful car designed and now it is up to you to put an engine in there. So how do you do that? Well, you choose an engine, of course, and here we already have a little list. So you could, for instance, um, take uh, this one, which is completely insane, um, and put it in there. So, now we have an engine sitting in the car. It's a transverse mounted V8 uh, and complete overkill for this car, especially if you take front wheel drive. You can see here that it has basically a perfectly flat torque curve because the power is rising linearly. And um, it has 280 kilowatts of power, so that's quite a bit. So, let's put a gearbox on there, shall we? Uh, we do have the gearboxes there, behind the graphs, as you can see. And the engine is hiding there, behind. We can um, adjust the gear ratios such that we get different top speeds and different gear spacing, as you can see here, to, make, uh, to optimize acceleration and to make the gears drop into the right revs. So these red lines here are currently indicating the top 20% of maximum power of the engine. And um, the thick lines you see here is what is traveled in RPM if you, in that gear, if you uh, max out the gears before shifting. So you will get first gear up to, up to there and then you will drop down to below 20% maximum there, I ignore the scale here, but it's it's a bit weird. The zero is really there, and the 1000 is there, so it's all basically shifted by a thousand. But you can see, like the third gear is already within 20% of maximum power all the time, and currently we have a maximum speed of 260 kilometers now, using standard clutch. And now we choose just a simple diff, and there are kind of no other things in there whatsoever apart from this page and the testing page and these are the stats and they are properly simulated calculated and uh, we see here yeah the top speed is not really an issue it's probably um, <clears throat> going into the rev limiter there before it reaches the 260 by the gears because the rev limiter kicks in like or, yeah uh, or the simulation is is stopped at 50 revs before the rev limiter and you see your 0 to 100 time and front wheel drive 7 seconds yeah it kind of makes sense and uh, quarter mile times and stuff it's all properly so simulated and it's realistic too so what happens if we change the uh, drivetrain to rear wheel drive while keeping the same engine and the same gear ratios and everything the same so then we have I uh, bit quicker time there. So what if we change to four-wheel drive? Well that is even quicker because on these little wheels you will probably have a bit of difficulties accelerating. Uh, there are actually other wheels in the simulation on there. This is just graphical. Just as graphical as this beautiful front lip. And um, oh yeah one other thing don't know if you know that but um, you can by pressing minus you can do this boink 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 yeah awesome 
All right, that's uh, kind of everything I wanted to show you for now. And there will be uh, more updates coming because things are coming together nicely now for this patch. So uh, about a month more wait for you to be building your own cars and putting engines in there properly. All right, guys, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Cheers.